the WISE work is outstanding when it comes to helping these children in foster care. I've seen the transformation take place um, in just one of my kiddos who was the first one that was a part of the Y. He's not even the same kid. He loves the people that he's developed relationships with. It's so great to see people that want to open up their homes, that are willing to take kids as they are and meet kids where they're at to try to, you know, make a connection and show them that they're supported and loved. Once all the paperwork and applications and you've moved through a majority of that process, you will have a home inspection and then a home study. And the home study is my opportunity to get to know your family and what it means to foster for you guys. But it's a great chance for us to get to know each other, for you to learn more and ask questions about fostering, and for us to really get into the nitty gritty of like what it's gonna be like to have a youth in your home. For every family, it's going to be a little bit different as well. You might have children in your home already. You might have a multi-generational home where you have grandparents in the home and there's conversations around what that's going to look like as a foster family. We try and make it so that you are working through things in a way that makes sense for you um, because there is a lot that can be really confusing about it and if you have a question we're there at any point to answer the questions. And so you know there's that surface piece where I'm going in the home but I'm also reaching out to you making sure you feel supported making sure you feel cared about. The focus of our work is, you know, making sure that we focus on the kids' permanency goals, um, whatever that might look like, and supporting them with all the things that come with foster care. Supporting them through school systems like IEPs, it can look like medical systems, maybe they have a medical social worker. Being a therapist at the Y involves getting to know really fantastic foster families and kids that are in foster care um, and their biological families and getting to support them throughout their permanency journey. A lot of the kids that I work with have had many placements over the course of their life and there's a lot of loss, there's a lot of grief, there's a lot of complex um, experiences that come with that and um, it's one of my joys trying to figure out how to make meaning out of that and how to help these kids um, heal from some of the not so great things that have happened. You know, I knew this kid I was having a first day at school and just checking in with the family that the first day of school went well or um, you're calling me because I don't know what to do and kiddos are stressed out, what do I do? And so it's a lot of phone calls, a lot of checking and a lot of sitting with you through good and bad days. Really working as a team and kind of seeing that um, my foster families really appreciate the work that I put in to make sure that, you know, um, that we're thinking about the right things, that we're making good decisions together. You know, that's been really great. I get to plan fun activities that are meant to support our foster parents. So we've started doing foster parent yoga for our foster parents or taking all our foster parents to the Mariners game, going to a play, our summer picnics, all the fun things that build community amongst our foster parents. That's what I get to do and I love it. I think when it comes to the team, what inspires me the most is just how passionate and dedicated everyone is. Everyone shows up every day, they're excited, and they're here because they truly want to be here. If you really care about these kiddos and you want growth to take place, I would say choose the why. I would say choose the why because of the staff, the people who are staffed here, the people who are put in positions to help make a difference. I love my family, I love my team. I love the kiddos. We just, we learn each other and we work together.